Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. Today I'm gonna open up this GST S300 series G-Shock watch and just share with all of you guys what's inside this very model, what makes this awesome or what makes this mid-size the way it is. What's different between this model or that one at the back over there, which is the GST 20 series. special tool to remove this of course not just standard screwdriver and also look at the screw over here look at it have flat power boy all the way there the screw tried actually just at the edge of the screw over there so remove two of this and we gonna see now that this guy don't have any one of those metal uh, support that GST 200 series model have I'm not sure if you can see they actually have a metal parts in there in between the body and also the watchman to support this uh, soft polyurethane uh, watchman but in this case yeah we don't have it look at that just empty it out I'm gonna remove this part of the watchman now and see if it is similar or it is different I'm not sure if uh, this will be the same as the uh, wave setter model as well what since this guy I'm opening up right now is the tough solar model look at that but we don't have it unfortunately and of course we need to remove this buckle as well I don't know why I'm doing this but just in case something weird and uh, seems like nothing weird going on as far as the buckle so they're just standard so if we want to look inside this vertebra we could actually do so already by just removing this back plate and then we have our access into there but you know what it's gonna be a little boring why not we open it up the whole thing first and then we go into there so let's start it up by removing this screw on this bezel this is the iconic bezel of a uh, g-steel every g-steel come with this type of resin or metal bezel depending on which version that you get this is the gst 300 model look at the auto already turn on so it will came with a resin uh, layered bezel so if you get a gst 310 model this bezel up here will comes in metal or aluminum or stainless steel material if I'm not mistaken and there it is let me remove this part as well this ring up here of course for aesthetics and the main reason to add that is also for protection in between the glass and also any sort of surface so this ring is what protect the mineral glass from any sort of impact so I think I could remove this thing already let me try to wiggle a little bit and move nails in there and oh, wow just really look at that this have some sort of double-sided tape over there to lock this part up but basically there's it look at that very very cool looking looks like metal though because of the matte finishing on that and by the way guys this bezel over here is I believe to be pretty stiff as well look at that I'm trying to press it as hard as I can right now it's pretty hard for me to press this one as well so look at that very very cool and very high quality material that they used to make this part over here not the same material I believe as the one they used to make this wash band which is pretty soft and now let's remove this metal ring or this metal bezel up here or the metal layer which I believe couldn't be removed if you like open it up the 200 series model because after you open up this bezel ring for the 200 series G steel there are no more screws up here like totally blank so let me remove this four of this which is interesting seems like we could remove everything on this piece almost feels like you are disassembling a gun since we are actually removing metal on this piece so very very cool experience if you have the chance to own of this why not give it a try remove all the parts and just assemble it back together it feels good though just some of the things that I realize each time I open up a G Steel model. It feels different when you open up a G Steel or basic model. So I could remove this part as well. Well, you look at that. If I'm not mistaken, we could already have access to the engine right now, right? Wow, really, really cool. I'm, I'm gonna put this thing back. Wow, look at that. Look at all this metal ring around here. So gorgeous. I'm gonna turn on the light right now. Wow, so cool. Look at this metal ring over here.
the glass was actually built into here and the index also was built in there and we have another o-ring around here as well look at that so cool and we have some oil over here of course to grease it up wow front o-ring no wonder we need an o-ring because this part is like locking the front part of the casing so technically they have two holes over here for water to sit in there either from the back plate or at the front wow this part is really solid build very very cool i'm not sure we could remove this index in there so i'm just gonna leave it there okay this will be the engine you know what i think i'm gonna place place this thing back on top here and i want to remove this uh, the screw on the sides first i should remove this one you know let me try to remove this thing out i need something to hold or I mean to hold on to this module in the inside there as well, so I need to put this metal back. And now I believe we could remove this resin part already, right? Let me try to pull this thing above the button over there. Yeah, it's pretty hard for me to do it so I'm gonna remove this part over here and take this module out already so we could do so and seems like we have a spring over here look at that I need to be very careful in this process over here and we also have a few more springs at the back of the watch like uh, one over here right so we don't want to lose that as well put this thing at the back okay now let's try to remove this resin part right out there look at that came out this metal spring should match with this ring over here I don't know what that the purpose of that but let's put it over here now let's remove the back plate screw take this one out wow and the o-ring still intact on there I believe to be in instructions sticker on there the only left quarter part over there is to connect to the beeper okay this will be the module holder I believe which come in very soft plastic so this thing I believe should be placed around here right yep this is it and that and as you guys can see now, at the back of this uh, module, you can see that there is an empty space down here, like huge emptied out space. If I'm not mistaken, this is the space for the uh, wave scepter antenna. If you get your wave scepter model, I'm pretty sure there will be a coil over here, similar looking at this guy with this bigger placed down here. So since the one I'm using right now is a uh, non uh, wave scepter model so that's why this part is blank emptied out like wasted space over here wait uh, we got it upside down actually this is it so upper part over here and we have Casio Japan engine no jewels and some code over there 5524 I believe and the AC disc will be in there very far away from the battery this will be the motor the coil motor that is uh, moving the hours and the minute sense in there and we have the spring rear to connect to the uh, beeper over here as far as the sides look at how symmetrical it looks I mean it looks very very cool very gorgeous uh, design I mean they have metal and it looks very symmetrical the design of this space looks great and since I didn't turn off the auto light still gonna turn on 
if I tilt the watch or cover the watch face, it didn't receive much light. Look at that, it's already turning on. Very, very cool as well. Wow, this is so small. Look at how, where's the casing? This is it. Look at how small it is compared to this part over here. Wait, I forgot to remove this. All right. Wait, the spring just fall off. This gold spring down here, look at that. I don't want to lose this. Let me put this thing at the back somewhere on there because the place should be in there. Okay, now a lot of parts that could be uh, salvaged from this very model. All this justify the price. Very, very cool. Look at how big this thing is and the module itself, like really, really small. Wow, so gorgeous. Now I could touch the solar panel as well. Wow, let me try to operate the function. I believe this should still be working. Look at that stopwatch. We are at the countdown timer now. And alarm. Press this mode button again. We go back to home time and press this light button. It will light on as well. Go to world time and have a city swap to have a better look at the motor. City swap Tokyo and Chicago time. That's already moving. You could hear the uh, the motors or the hands actually moving. Let me try to bring it up closer to the uh, microphone. So that's how you can see that the hours. I'm sorry, the minutes and is sort of like vibrating as it rotates backwards. So that's pretty the sound. Okay, now let us measure the size of this tiny little guy and just see on how small it actually is because when we look at the exterior it looks so big so from the top to the bottom 29.817 uh, millimeters uh, sorry let me measure the thickness as well though putting over here 7.66 millimeters in thickness only so that's very very tiny considering when you measure the biggest point on the watch which is on this metal part over here on the sides like side to side uh, sizing it's gonna measure at 46.69 millimeters there is huge difference over there comparing the casing to the actual watch in there itself so let me measure the weight as well just a quick measurement using the scale over here uh, all right let me put this thing in there it's gonna weigh only about five five grams like where is this six gram yeah five to six gram only but when you add all of these parts into here it's gonna weigh about 88 grams like huge different over there if i'm not mistaken if you get a wave setter model it's gonna be a little heavier because they have the antenna built in there but that's uh, no big deal at all so what i'm gonna do right now is show you guys some of the extra uh, close-up photos or videos and of course i'm gonna assemble all of this back using a time lapse uh, video and conclude this video at the same time as well i hope you guys found this uh, video useful informative and entertaining as well for your future reference leave a like if this does help you and also subscribe to see more contents like this coming up in the future i'm gonna grab more gstail model for sure because of look at how awesome it looks so stay tuned for more for now that is all guys Thank you very very much for watching. I really really appreciate your support. This is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. And I'm